Hi, I'm Matias. I'm going to demonstrate how to install a Toast Realwood cover on a Razor Blade Stealth. This is their uh, new 12 inch uh, Ultrabook. So, with the Toast kit, um, you're going to uh, get the top cover. This is a real wood laser cut. This is the walnut. They will come with a kit of side wraps um, to wrap all the edges um, in the wood as well. It will include some alcohol wipes. These are nice big alcohol wipes. And then there's an option for a bottom cover to completely surround uh, the laptop in wood. So to install the cover, we're gonna place it with the, the hinge side facing us and grab one of these alcohol wipes. And I'm just gonna give it a quick cleaning, mainly focusing on the edges um, for the wraps. The tricky is to stick two parts. I'm going to just dry it off with a cloth. Okay, and then we're ready to go. So we have a hinge side facing us because the cover actually has tiny little tick marks uh, that help you align with the hinge. So. It's always best to test fit before applying it, just to kind of see how they go, make sure you have the right piece. Then we're going to peel back the backing paper to expose the adhesive. I'm just going to peel it back from about half of the, the cover so that we can get the alignment first and then we'll peel off the rest. So we're just getting those tick marks to line up nicely with the hinge on that back edge along there. You can kind of check and see how it's lined up. And we'll peel off the rest of the backing paper. And just lay it down, kind of checking along the edges there. The front edge. And there we go. So that's the, the main body. Uh, you can, the corners, you know, give them a good pressing to make sure that they can conform to the shape of the laptop. So next we're going to do the side wraps and these are easiest to kind of keep rotating the laptop around to get to the area you're working on. So we're going to start with the front edge that has the fingerprint indent on it. So we're just going to flip the laptop around so we have that edge pointing us, pointing to us and grab that, that wrap piece. And we're going to use that fingerprint cutout as our alignment point. Just get that nicely aligned. So that's our start. And then we've got side wraps. There's two different kinds. One has a curved end, and that actually matches up with the headphone jack here. So of the two pieces, there's four pieces left here. Two of them have kind of curves on them. Those are for that USB-C side and the headphone jack. So we'll do those first. So it's always good to test fit, see how that's gonna line up and go on there before you peel it back. And we're gonna use the last wrap that we put on as our starting point. We'll line it up there and then wrap it around. And then we're going to just flip it over so we can expose the corner that we're going to be working on and on the, the back sort of back corner wrap here. And I'm just starting at the hinge opening there and then just wrapping that around. Press and then we'll flip it around to the other side. So 
And we're gonna just start here at the corner where the other wrap ended. And wrap that along. You can see it ends there in plenty of space around the USB. And then I'll flip it around and do the last little corner wrap. Starting at the hinge, wrapping around over to the HDMI there. And then there actually is one last piece, the back of the hinge. You see there, it's a nice little trim piece as well. So, pull that off. Okay, so just give it a good push and all the wraps are on there. And we've got one last piece, which is our bottom cover. So this has the optional bottom cover on it. There's an extra alcohol wipe if, if you order the bottom covers, but since we just cleaned it, we don't need that. So this has a lot of holes in it um, for the venting and the feet, and we're gonna use those as our alignment points. So starting on the hinge side, which has this notch cut out, I'm going to peel off the back of the paper in here. And you'll just see it leaves these little dots of paper on here. That really makes the alignment um, and removal process a lot easier. So you want to just let those pieces stay on the back of the cover. And again, I peeled about half of the paper back. And I'm gonna line it up using those vent holes and the, uh, the feet on the bottom of the cover as my alignment points. And once that's nicely aligned, I'll peel off the rest of the backing paper. Lay that down, seeing that everything lines up nicely with the screws and stuff. And you can kind of shift it if you need to a little bit. Just press the flat area and then I'm going to work those corners a little bit so that it conforms to the contours of the laptop. Pressing that on, so there you go. Completed, fully wrapped in wood. Uh, adds a great grip to it and uh, protection from bumps and scratches and keeps the surface of the laptop really protected while making it awesomely woody. You can see the wraps fully cover the sides. Leave plenty of room for your ports. And all the venting is fully exposed on the bottom and as well as on the back there. With this one, we're going to be installing the optional keyboard surround. So there are wood pieces cut exactly to fit to the keyboard area. So to install those, uh, we're gonna start with the area on the trackpad. And it's simply just peel, align, and stick. So it's always best to see how that aligns. Check it out, you can see it sort of perfectly matches the touch uh, pad area. I'm just going to peel off that backing paper. I'm going to use that touch pad as the, uh, as the alignment there. I'm just going to lay it on, make sure it's going to nicely around the keyboard cutout area and that fingerprint. That's it. And then there's a back panel as well. You can see it's got a cutout for the power power button on it. So we'll just use that as kind of get our center point there. And check alignment there, looks good. Pretty straightforward. So there you go. Dress up the keypad area as well.
And you can see that hinge still fully closes. There's no constrictions or anything there. 